Now, in terms of titles, here are just some of the title conventions for a bait piece. One is simply the list. One way to organize a content document is the easiest way to write it, and it's very easy for readers, is to just make a list. So it might be, I mean, I, had a, I, I knew a guy who had an ad agency that specialized in, in one of the things he did for clients was he did PowerPoints and gave them coaching on presentations. So he had a booklet called 14 Steps to a Winning Business Presentation. So it's just a list. The top seven security problems of 802.11 wireless networks. A list title works very well. You know why a list title works well? Why do you think a list title works well? Because if you say the seven problems, the reader, what do they do? What do you do? You start instantly thinking, like if it's something you're interested in. Like if I said to you, the seven biggest mistakes in digital color printing and how to avoid them. He's an expert in it, but even though he's going to start thinking, oh, what are those mistakes? So therefore, one or two things is going to happen. If he, the, the reader won't come up with seven, and they'll say, I got to get it to find out what the other two are, or he'll come up with seven or more, but say, I wonder if their list is the same as my list. So numbers work great. And I've tested this a lot in email marketing, and any time we put a number in the subject line, click-throughs go way up. That's another, numbers in subject lines of email work, and they work great in ads too. I'm going to show you some examples later. Active verbs, managing large Unix data centers, giving, for the presentations booklet, giving, a gr giving great talks, active verbs, because it's action. People like the idea that I'm going to read this tonight, I'm going to be able to do something starting tomorrow morning. So active verb with the ending in ing. Why? Why headlines in general are great? Because they add curiosity. Like, we could have just said Six Sigma doesn't work. But then we say, why Six Sigma doesn't work? And immediately you're more interested. Well, why doesn't it work? Colon. That means if you, ha you can have a two-part title. Defending the remote office. That's a little more dramatic, but you don't know exactly what it means. So alone it isn't good. But defending the remote office, colon, which virtual private network technology is best? It's complete. How to. How to always works. I mean, if you go to Books in Print, which is the online directory of published books, like 10% of all books begin with the word how to. People love how to stuff. How to prevent machine parts from failing prematurely. How to implies you are going to learn something. And this doesn't have to be with complicated products. Duncan Hines had for years, I don't know if they still have them, ads running in Family Circle and Ladies Home Journal and those kind of magazines and it was for their chocolate cake mix, but it didn't say, it didn't have a brand name in it. It didn't say Duncan Hines is the best, it said, the headline was, The Secret to Richer, Moister Chocolate Cake. They made you think that by reading this ad, you would learn something whether you bought the product in the ad or not. Of course, what you'd learn is the secret is buying Duncan Hines, Duncan Hines cake mix and putting water in it, but it worked. They ran it.